Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a pen which I've had for coming to a year now and that's the Pilot Bamboo. Not to be confused with the Pilot Vanishing Point Bamboo Edition which came out I think last year. This pen came out in um, the early 2000s uh, and was discontinued probably about 15 years ago is my guess. So before we look at the pen, um, when I bought this pen, I bought this pen used and I, it didn't come with a box. So just wanted to give you a little bit of history about the bamboo. Basically, it was a very innovative design when it came out. Um, and it was a pen designed to have a plant design. Um, I'm not going to read out all this text, but basically the pen was designed by a French woman called Juliette Benamol. And basically the shape of the pen, it obviously looks like a, a piece of bamboo that has been sliced on both ends by a probably a very sharp knife, maybe a samurai knife. And basically the bamboos... Um, shape was inspired by that plant and basically uh, the pen was available in fine medium and broad and interestingly the nib was available in 14 karat gold in other parts of the world however it was available only in france as an 18k nib you'll see later on that the, the nib is actually plated in rhodium kind of a silvery color the clip, I'm not sure whether you can make it out. It's actually copper plated and it's in a rose gold. It gives it a rose gold color. And last but not least, the pen was available, available in dark blue, burgundy and black. Mine happens to be the dark blue model. In certain light, it actually looks purplish. Um, I, have, I happen to think it's a very attractive color. So looking at the, the pen, like I mentioned earlier on, the two ends are kind of sliced, um, sliced, like cut, like, like somebody sliced the sides on the ends of the, the bamboo plant or the shoot. And basically you ended up with this piece of bamboo. And you can see the knots, right? If you've seen a bamboo plant before uh, the stem actually has these knots irregular knots and they have tried to simulate that with the design of this pen and <clears throat> it's a very sculpted pen right it's not typical pilot like a 912 where it's like very tubular in shape um, you could see that lots of work went into making the shape unique uh, so this part of the pen, you can see that it's kind of concave slightly. And the clip obviously has a probably the most these over-designed or the heavily designed clip you will ever see. The clip itself is, um, there's a little bit of spring to it. Um, and it's a very beautiful color, like a rose gold, like I mentioned earlier on. <coughs> on the middle of the cap band it says japan and pilot and that's pretty much all it says um there is a tiny logo down here which i believe it's the pilot logo on the clip so one thing to note is the pen actually has is made of um, kind of a metal alloy so the cap actually is uh, it has metal threads and it's it's kind of uh, has a little bit of heft to it and the rest of the body is also made of alloy so basically this part of the pen um, also has a little bit of heft to it the pen um, originally came with a con 70 and as you note down here it has metal a metal section and it has a uh, a section that's pretty similar to um, if you have a 912 you probably could swap 
the 912 section directly onto this pen but not vice versa because if you kind of pay attention maybe it's clearer if I unscrew the 912 the bamboo section is longer than the 912 so you can actually put the 912's uh, section into the bamboo but not vice versa because this little extra length um, causes it not to fit um, otherwise the dimension of the section is is roughly 11 millimeters um, same as the you know other pilots like the 912 so um, looking at the balance of the pen there is a kind of a, a nice balance there is a little bit of weight to the pen because of the alloy construction and balance wise it's very balanced um, right at those knots which i showed you earlier on there is a significant kind of drop off though uh, which you have to be aware of um, but i don't have any problems when holding the pen because i hold it pretty much where the section is supposed to be so it's it's a very comfortable uh, length and weight for me <clears throat> now looking at the nib of the pen like I mentioned earlier on the pen was available in fine medium and broad mine happens to be the fine um, and it's a kind of a unique nib in that I've not seen another pilot pen that has a frosted or matte finish on the nib before and it contrasts nicely with the shiny uh, part of the pen in the middle, uh, the middle part of the nib. Um, as you can tell, it's a number 10 pilot nib, which translates to a, kind of like a Yowo number 5. Uh, it's a decent size. And on the other side, you can see the feet, which is a typical pilot feet. Nothing um, much going on there. So I'm going to ink up the pen and we'll do, we'll do a little bit of writing. So the ink I'm going to use today is uh, Waterman Intense Black. Uh, I've run out of uh, Mysterious Blue. And I'm not going to draw too much ink into the pen just enough to kind of do the writing sample. The feeling of the pen when capping it and, um, you know, kind of uh, closing it, it's very, very, it's a nice feeling. Uh, it feels very well engineered. So, So I'm still using my trusty Hurlitz pad. Incidentally, the length of the pen from the tip of the nib all the way to the end is about 13 centimeters. So it's a very, it's, it's more feedbacky than I would expect from a pilot uh, nib. However, it is still a pilot 14K nib. So it's very pleasant still to write, especially on um, decent paper like this Hurlitz pad. In terms of wetness, it's, it's, it's wet enough, right? Basically for everyday uh, fountain pen writing. So, um, before I close off, just some thoughts about the, this particular pen. Like I mentioned earlier on, this pen has been discontinued for, for quite a while, at least 10 over years. You can pick up this pen uh, used, and I've seen it going for uh, anywhere between um, 140 
uh, dollars to about two hundred dollars, depending on who you buy it from. Uh, I think uh, it's it's worth picking up if you're interested in getting a pen with a little bit of pilot history. Uh, in terms of the build, I think the the probably the only worry um, in terms of the pen is I've seen some pens available for sale where this copper clip was uh, had already oxidized. So look out for that. Otherwise, I believe the rest of the, the pen is very well made. It will last you uh, for quite some time. So this is the Pilot uh, Mambu. Uh, since I have the 912 on the table, I just want to show you very quickly the the size of the bamboo versus maybe another pilot pen that you, you probably have in your collection. So, very short video today. Uh, hope you found it useful. Uh, let me know what you think about this pen. Do you think it's uh, worthy of adding to your collection? Uh, and, you know, again, leave your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.